Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Josie Ochoa and today we will be working out, focusing on our glutes and lower body. Showing you guys a little bit of my favorite workouts, not the full routine. We're still working on a perfect routine. Once we have that, I'll share it with you guys. Also, if you guys are interested in this waist trainer, check the link in the description. Let's get started. First, I like to warm up with some cardio. I usually do 10 to 15 minutes depending on how I feel and I do one minute intervals walking and sprinting that way we are burning fat and still building muscle that is very important we don't want to lose the muscle an incline of 10 to 12 percent I don't know what you want let's have a bit of let's get right to it after my warm-up I like to activate my glute area since that is going to be one of my main focuses, it's important to make sure your bum is heated. And first, we're going to start with the hip abductor. This is great for everybody that's trying to grow your glutes. Trust me, you're going to feel the burn. I recommend to add more weight in every set so that way you, you start to feel it. Next, we're going to do a hip thrust, which is one of my favorite workouts. I love it because I really feel it once I'm done and I get a great pump. The trick here is to push and squeeze while you're up. Make sure to take your time and wear something that's comfortable for your pelvic bone. You don't want to get hurt. Next, we're going to do a little bit of leg press. That way we get a full lower body workout. Um, remember, this is not my routine. These are just some of my favorite workouts. So yes, I love to do this one. I really, I really feel it down in my hamstrings and my lower butt. Then I like to isolate the glutes and do one leg at a time. I feel this one in the bottom lower area of my butt and my hamstrings as well. So make sure to use it. I do 10 to 12 sets. Next, we're gonna do the rope pull-throughs. Now, make sure to bend your knees a little bit. I'm checking out my footage and I realized I didn't. So make sure your form is correct. I decided to keep this clip here so you guys could know. We're not perfect, but we're getting it right. So here we go. And this one has become one of my favorites and I just started doing these and I really feel like they are very effective. Again, the trick is to squeeze while you're going up. As you can tell, I'm really like pushing it. That is very important. And I added more weight on my second set. These are called kneeling good mornings. So I highly recommend these if you guys have like knee problems, cause I have knee problems and this is a great way to just go at it. If you guys are having a hard time doing squats, I also recommend these. So next we're gonna do some Smith machine squats. I'm gonna admit, in the beginning, I was really bad at doing squats, but I believe I got him better with my form. So the trick here is to have a wide stance, point your toes outwards and go deep. Go as low as you can and take your time and push up and squeeze. That is my trick. Push up and squeeze. I also like to wear my waist trainer because it keeps my back straight and I just feel like I could handle more weight. And this one is my ultimate favorite. I just started doing these, but I realized it works on all your major muscle groups, which is your minimus, your maximus, and your medius, and also your quads. So if you girls are trying to work on all of the above, I highly recommend these. And the trick here is to go as slow and also keep a controlled, steady pace. These are really good. I usually use three steps and that's pretty good. And yeah, those were some of my favorite workouts. And towards the end, I always like to stretch out and I just wanted to show you guys because you know, it's important. We don't wanna get injured or pull something. So yeah, I like to stretch out. I'm also trying to get a little bit more flexible since I've lost all my flexibility. But yes, once I'm done working out and I'm done stretching, I also like to burn out a little bit. I don't know if you guys do that, but I just like to leave the gym with a burn. So even though I have no weight, trust me, by this point, you're going to be burning. You could also do these with some weights or bands and you will feel it. 
Trust me. This is just called a burnout. Makes me feel good. Another burnout is kickbacks. I just do these. It, it kind of became a routine for me. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys that you could also do this at home with some weights or some bands and you will love it. Feel the burn. Yeah, well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and turn on your notification button. Subscribe. See you guys next time. <laughs>